Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Unique Great, aka Educated Farmer. So please, if you are stopping by this channel for the first time, please do well to hit on the subscription button. And to my returning subscribers, gracias. This video contains the basis of grass cutter farming. So please watch till the end, give the video a like, and please don't forget to leave a comment, gracias. This is a grass cutter house. It's called a grass cutter hutch. This is what it looks like. I'm going to take you on the empty hutch tour first before showing you where the grass cutters are. This is an empty grass cutter house or hutch. It has an opening in the middle, making it seem like a living room and a bedroom for easy movement of the grass cutter. This is the other end of it. This is basically what a grass cutter hutch looks like. Let's move over to where the grass cutters are. This is one of the grass cutters. So you're going to join me in carrying out their routine cleanup. I'm also going to be deworming them today. There are two ways of deworming your grass cutter. You have the organic method and the inorganic method. For the organic method, you can decide to make use of unripe purple. That's what I'll be making use of. You can also make use of ginger. Then for the inorganic, you can buy drugs like piperazine or benzimidazole. It is not advisable to give dewormer to pregnant animals, be it the organic or inorganic method. So now I'll start with cleaning their hutch before feeding them. And I'll also show you what they feed on, like the basic things they feed on. This is how you clean the grass cutter hutch. The grass cutter hutch should be cleaned daily for proper hygiene and also to prevent any sort of contamination. A grass cutter hutch contains one male and one female. Now in the hutches where there are three, it contains one male and two females. A male grass cutter is called a buck, while a female grass cutter is called a doe. This hutch contains two doe and one buck. Grass cutters belong to the rat family, that's why they actually look like rats. The main feed for grass cutter is forage and the remnant of what they had yesterday is what you can see right now in the hutch. Grass cutter meat is very low in cholesterol and high in protein. It is a good source of white meat. It is a really tasty bush meat. Grass cutter meat can be used to prepare pepper soup. It can be used to prepare local dishes like banga soup, unkwabi and all the rest. It can also be used to prepare vegetable soup. Honestly, there are a variety of dishes you can use the grass cutter meat to prepare. Grass cutters litter twice a year, and the number of young per litter is between 3 to 11. The period of suckling is 40 days before weaning. Weaning is the separation of the young from their mother. There are seven hutches in use, some containing one buck to one doe and one buck to two does, making it a total of 17 grass cutters in this farm. 
So this is me cleaning the last hutch. This is what the grass cutter hutch looks like after cleaning. Grass cutters are actually very easy to rear. The only major problem they have is cold. Like that's the quickest thing that kills them. Aside that, they really don't have any serious disease. So when setting up your grass cutter farm, ensure that they are properly confined and that your hutch construction meets the criteria of helping to prevent cold, especially during the raining season. When they are cold, they produce a whitish substance. I'm going to show you the vaccine you can use on them. It contains antibiotics and vitamins. This is the food remnants and droppings of the grass cutter. Grass cutter droppings are actually a very good source of manure, even when compared to poultry droppings. These are their drinking and eating trough. So I want to quickly clean them up and give the animals water to drink. After which I'll prepare the purple I want to use in deworming them. How you give grass cutters water? You give them water with a day interval. You don't give them the water to drink every day. Like if you give them water today, you don't have to give them water the next day. Basically, that's it. So this is how I clean the trough. When putting the water into the trough for the animals, you don't fill to the brim so they don't litter the hutch with the water. They have long mouths so they can easily drink the water. After giving the water to the animals, you leave the water in the hutch for about 30 to 45 minutes, then you take it out. So right now, I'm trying to clean up the papaw or papaya so I can give them to the animals. Every part of the papaw or papaya is used to deworm the animals. The seed, the fruit, the peel, every part of it is used. This is their supplementary feed. It's known as concentrate. This concentrate provides the nutrients that forage alone cannot provide for the animals. Concentrates are made up of palm kernel cake, which is PKC, maize, wheat brown, and bone meal. This is the vaccine you use on the animals. It's called Neotreat. It contains antibiotics and vitamins. Antibiotics helps to fight against infection, while the vitamins helps to boost their appetite. 
This is a handy cage that helps you move the grass cutters easily within the farm. These are guinea grass. You can also feed the animals with elephant grass. They actually prefer the elephant grass to the guinea grass because the elephant grass is more like sugar cane. So they enjoy eating it more compared to the guinea grass. Before feeding these forages to the animals, there are two ways you can get rid of ants and insects. Firstly, you can decide to keep them under the sun for a few minutes. While secondly, you can soak them into a water that contains salt. That way you'll be able to get rid of any insects and ants on the forage. This is a female grass cutter. The private parts are close to each other for the female grass cutters. This is a male grass cutter. The private part is far away from each other when compared to the female grass cutter. So this is what it is. This is cabbage. This is potato. So I also feed the animals with cabbage and potatoes. There are 26 hutches in this place. Seven are already being occupied by the animals, while we have 19 left waiting for the animals to litter and then they will be transferred there. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please don't forget to subscribe, leave a comment and like this video. Gracias.